traveling around the world preaching the gospel have seen that sin, sin has gone deep in the church. A, a meeting of pastors, then one pastor that is my spiritual daughter was the one to preach that day. It's a fellowship of pastors. So once a month, pastors in that city, they gather. It's not Nigeria, so don't think. So she now came to the pulpit and said, no more fornication. That meeting didn't end well. The, there was chaos. The meeting did not end where there was a reaction. What was the, the topic? No more. Not among Christians. Among what? So when the unbelievers begin to look at us, they fornicate and we fornicate. Pastors fornicate. Nothing is shiny. We are the same. So you cannot say you are coming to preach to them. Because you don't have the moral justification to do so. Somebody came here to submit to us here and he saw our standard of holiness. He didn't bother to see me again, just left. I was preaching about fornication that day. So the pastor, there was no need for the pastor to see me again, he just left. That if this is what I'm coming to join, this is not my style. He took off. So in his city, the pharmacy where he buys condom from, they reported to me from there that this guy, this is where he buys condom. I think, you see, I know so many people in Nigeria. This is Nigeria, I know people. <laughs> Before nightfall, the news would have reached my phone. This guy, this way. The problem now is that the guy has impregnated two women. So, I don't know how that thing will be solved, but I thank God I'm not the one to solve it. You have impregnated. There is something called the spirit of grace. The spirit of grace. It gives you victory over the weaknesses that be devil, fallen man. You, you are going to receive that spirit tonight. Especially if we are ministers of the gospel, we need a double dose. Double dose. If you don't have the gift of discernment of spirit, oh... Oh, a lot of people are afraid of you because of their anointing. You have not met the people that I'm talking about. Those ones are not afraid of you. In fact, those ones will come because there is anointing. The ones I'm talking about have money. If they know that your weakness is money, they'll just bring new notes and give you. They won't say anything. They'll give you again, second time. If you receive the third time, you are falling. They know that you are gone. How it will happen, you yourself will wonder. What we are talking about here is that grace, that spirit that gives you victory over the weaknesses of the fallen man. The weaknesses. The weaknesses. And in the midst of seeing you have victory. I noticed a time came on Facebook, that Facebook became a ground for pornography. You just be, even, you did not, you don't even know how that channel came on because you did not ask for it, but it will follow you. If your next reaction is not to say, show me no more. You know, Facebook, they haven't tried. There's a column where you can Tell the thing, this type, I don't like this type. This one, I don't like. The reason why you have the power to click no is because that spirit is still there. 
The day you become weak and your hand is doing like this, just know that you need to admit yourself in the intensive care unit of the grace of God. Holiness must be restored to the house of God if we are going to have the capacity to bring the witness of Christ to the dying world. We have a responsibility to live right. There is a price. I see with me. And I cry out from this place to all the sons of Africa. The Lord is calling every one of us to a higher dimension of consecration. I don't know how to say it louder. Oh, ye sons and daughters of Africa. He calls us to a higher dimension of consecration. Walk away from sin. Walk away from fornication. Walk away from iniquity. You can walk away because of the spirit of grace. No man among us is strong in himself. And there's something more ancient than sin. It's called the spirit of grace. It will be strong in the midst of sin. But the Bible says that where sin doth abound, the grace of God doth much more abound.